In this video, we are going to show some of the different ways that you can use Google Slides as a student. So when you're on Google and you click on the Apps Cube, there's a couple ways that you can get to Google Slides, either through an assignment in Google Classroom or opening up the Slides homepage or going to Google Drive and clicking on New and then choosing Google Slides to open up a new Google Slides presentation. So when you first open up a new Google Slides, if it's not a template from Google Classroom, you can choose a theme over on the right and then you've got your first title page. We'll give it a quick title. If you do give your slides a title and then click on the untitled presentation in the top left, it will automatically pull your title um, to the top there. Then in the top left, there is a plus sign and that's how you add a new slide. You can click on layouts and you can choose the layouts based on the theme for your slides. And any of those pieces are clickable and editable. So you can just type right into those different sections. You can also add to any slide. So you can click on the T and then add a text box. And um, there's an undo button in the upper left as well to take anything away um, that you added by mistake. So you can add again text boxes or images clicking on that insert button you can upload an image from your computer you can search google you can insert an image from drive or you can take a picture directly from your camera you can insert audio and you can insert a video and so the video comes directly from youtube or from your drive now we'll just add some content to the slide we'll make it about some puppies and just type into the placeholders here that are part of our layout and we'll use that insert button to add some images and so we'll just delete this placeholder and change it over to an image so again we'll come up here and click insert image and we'll search the web and this is really nice because we don't have to leave our slideshow to search for images and so it'll just bring up image options and we can insert these directly into our slideshow by clicking on the image and then choosing insert down in the lower right. And so that'll drop it right directly into our slides and we can resize it and drag it around or we can click on that explore button in the lower right and it will give us some automatically formatted options for us to use using the content on our slide. So it will take the text and the picture and give us some options for pre-formatted slides where I don't have to change anything. I don't have to drag the edges and resize those images. So I'm gonna choose the one that fits my theme the best, add a new slide. And then I'm going to, instead of using that insert option in the upper left, I'm just going to go straight to the explore feature, which also allows me to search the internet. So I'm going to just type in any puppies and it brings up a web search too. So I can search for research for my presentation under web. And then I can also click images and use the plus button in the upper right corner and just add those images directly into my slide. So I'm going to add two images quickly to my slide, close out of this. And now again, I could resize those manually or I can just click on the explore button again and it will bring up multiple layouts that are already formatted for me. So this is a really quick shortcut to give me really nice professional looking slides that I don't have to worry about. So I can now use these slides and just type in my content and they're ready to go. When I am ready to present, I've got my present button in the upper right. And then there's the share button that I can click on, share with people directly by typing in their name or getting a shareable link down at the bottom and I can change that to be um, anyone in our district or anyone with the link by clicking on that drop down menu. Then I can copy that link and share it with anyone that I need. So those are my um, main options for things that I can do in Google Slides. That explore feature in the lower right is excellent for getting professional looking slides. 
Another um, trick is to duplicate a slide. If I have a slide layout that is really nice that I want to keep using, I can duplicate and just change the information. I can also add transitions in my slides and make things animated. And those are some of the ways that you can use Google Slides as a student.